Hey everyone and welcome. Today we're going to take a look at the latest updates to my Steam Deck and what I have been working on for the last several weeks. So I've been trying to compile a very large library of games on my one terabyte SD card for my Steam Deck and I also been trying to get all of the different images, videos, meta, data, and all sorts of information for these games and it has taken a long long time. So I have been playing on it every once in a while but I've been so busy with school and uh, creating content that I haven't really gotten into playing most of my favorite games on the Steam Deck. But overall I absolutely love this console. It is amazing and it's very powerful and it seems to handle everything no problem. So let's take a look at all of the emulators that I have installed so far. Let's see we have arcade games, uh, Capcom, Capcom, Play System 1, there's two, we have three, we have Amiga, Doom, Easy RPG, and unfortunately it's not touchscreen. I'd like to do that instead. Uh, what is this? Final Burn Neo, MSX, MSX2, uh, MAME, PC Engine, Nintendo 64, Nintendo DS, the original Nintendo Entertainment System, or NES, Family Computer, uh, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, Nintendo GameCube, Super Famicom, Super Nintendo, Nintendo Wii, uh, this one I don't have anything under this category, nor under Quake, Scum VM, Dreamcast, Game Gear, Genesis or Sega Genesis, Sega Mega Drive, Naomi, Neo Geo System, Neo Geo Pocket, Neo Geo Pocket Color, PlayStation, PlayStation 2, PlayStation Portable, and that is it. Now as far as like the artwork goes, it has been somewhat of a task to get everything downloaded the way I want it to download. So uh, it's been very, very difficult to get everything compiled because it takes a lot of time. And I continue to uh, misinterpret the settings somehow. And I continue to download the same uh, images and things like that. So I will go over how to uh, properly get your games all squared away in another video. Because I don't want this one to be too long. But yeah, this is one of my favorite themes, which is the... Let's take a look here. This one is the Coin Ops. Uh, the default variant and I just love the look of how the console appears there or the arcade itself showing up it's pretty awesome and I love artwork and this is so crispy uh, let's take a look at another console instead of these arcade systems so here's the Nintendo DS Here's the Game Boy. Here's a Game Boy Advance. Game Boy Color. And that game is pretty crazy. But yeah, you can see how I have several thousand games on here. So with, let's see, Capcom Play System, there's 32 here, 37, 4, uh, 419. See 96 games there, MSX, and there's just so many things I'd love to start playing. Like I started playing uh, Burning Angels. Where is that game? I think it's for PC Engine. But anyways, these games are so fun. There's so many different games on here, and I love the uh, titles and artwork. I was able to 
get for most of them. Like this one, I got the artwork and the art box, but I didn't get like the, the reviews or any videos to show up on that one. But it's all very fascinating and interesting. I love it so much. But yeah, I plan on to continue to get all of the games that I love to have on here. And there's a there's quite a few duplicates, so I'll have to go in and, and kind of tweak it a little bit. But as far as like my memory goes, uh, let's take a look at that. Let's go into storage and I'll show you what I got going on. So right now I have 375 gigabytes free. And there's just a ton of games on that SD card. And I have most of, if not everything that I want, but there's still quite a few things to get. For example, the Nintendo GameCube. Uh, there's still quite a few uh, Nintendo Wii games I'd like to get. These are some of the ones that I wanted to obtain right away. But that's not a whole lot. Uh, also, I'd like to get more Dreamcast games. That was a console that I never had a chance to play. So I can now go back and and start playing all these classic games. And some of these emulators do go through retro achievements. So if you do play some of these classic games, you can get some trophies through the retro achievements and have some fun there. Now the PSP, I have my entire collection on here so far. I think for the most part, I have like around 150 games. But yeah, everything should be on here, but I'm having trouble trying to get some of these uh, images to download or videos and things like that. But yeah, I've been having a blast doing that and it just takes, like I said, it takes a while. Started the PS2 process finally. Got some games on here. Well, it looks awesome. But yeah, I thought I'd just share with you guys what I got going on on my Steam Deck. And so many classic games on here. I love it so much. But yeah, let me know in the comment section what you think and what you'd like to look forward to as far as Steam Deck content goes here on the channel. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.